My name is Dani Vikakal, and I am fortunate to be part of THI's Communications, Publications, and Education team. I wanted to thank you for joining us today. We'll be starting with the presentation of the inaugural James T. Willerson, MD, Editor's Choice Award, presented by Dr. Joseph Rogers and Dr. Svanvir Krasier. It's an honor and a special pleasure for me to have this opportunity to uh, present uh, to the winners uh, of uh, Texas Art Institute Journal uh, Willerson Editor's Choice Awards. Uh, this award is sponsored by Texas Art Institute Board uh, and also a generous uh, gift from uh, Morton Kahn, a longtime friend of THI and Dr. Willerson and a former board member. Uh, the purpose of this award is to uh, acknowledge excellence in scientific discovery and medical writing. Now, the recognized papers um, uh, are published in Texas Heart Institute Journal, and the winners were selected from those publications. The winners were selected by uh, myself uh, as editor-in-chief, and also a panel of our associate editors, which include Dr. Emerson Perrin sitting here, Dr. Stephanie Coulter, uh, Dr. Jose Diaz, I don't know if he's here, and uh, Dr. Alexander Postelian. Now, needless to say, Dr. Willerson, for those of us that have known him very well for the last several decades, while he was at uh, Texas Heart Institute, he, uh, he was a truly one of the greatest beacon as far as Texas Heart Institute is concerned and achievements that Texas Heart Institute has uh, gathered in addition to Dr. Cooley and many other of his uh, associates. Some of his achievements uh, are listed here. As uh, all of you know, he was the uh, uh, chief editor of Circulation for 10 years and Circulation was housed here in this institution. But he also published uh, many books, uh, many uh, manuscripts. Uh, he was a researcher, he was a scientist, but above all, he was a, an excellent, excellent physician and took good care of uh, his patients. Uh, very few of us will uh, achieve the accolades and recognition that Dr. Willerson has achieved in his lifetime. So uh, just briefly about Texas Heart Institute Journal, all of you know it very well. It's a peer-reviewed journal by Texas Heart Institute. We are nearing 50 years of uh, existence of Texas Heart Institute Journal uh, from our institution. Uh, here is the editorial board with associate editors. We also added more recently section editors in nine topical areas, uh, and they are geographically diversely distributed and the content is published uh, by Allen Press. And uh, there are a variety of uh, type of uh, manuscripts that are being published uh, in the field of cardiovascular medicine. Almost 5,000 articles have been published in the journal since its inception. The journal is online only. It's free to read for everybody without any limitations or restrictions. And it's indexed by PubMed and Medline. We publish six uh, issues a year so far. So it is my distinct pleasure together with Dr. Robert Rogers uh, to present uh, the awards to the awardees. And uh, I think if you don't mind to come here, uh, we can take some of the pictures. So uh, the first award was on continuous flow left ventricular assist device support in patients with ischemic versus non-ischemic cardiomyopathy. The authors are listed here. Uh, uh, Dr. Chow is not present here. We have Dr. Civitello here. Uh, I don't know if Dr. Uh, Delgado is here, but uh, the award will be received by Dr. Chatterjee, if you don't mind to come to the podium. <laughs> now, well, while, while, he's, while he's getting here, and for all the uh, individuals that receive this award, this is not just a paper. They receive $5,000. And uh, I think it's a very generous award from Texas Heart Institute uh, Board. 
And uh, oh, congratulations. But we do have also recognition awards for all the uh, faculty or all the authors. Here, Dr. Civitello. And I don't know if Dr. Delgado's there. Anyhow, for those that are not here, the information and awards will be sent to them. The second award, uh, and again by a popular demand, was given to uh, Dr. Alexander Pustalian on simple transcat aortic valve replacement with conscious sedation, safety and effectiveness in real world practice. This is from our experience at our institution. Uh, and uh, Dr. Pustalian, please come here to receive uh, your award. You already had a check and you bought a, what, Ferrari? I just want to make a quick comment. Uh, first of all, um, it's an honor and a privilege not only to receive this award, but to be able to stay and uh, work here uh, among such amazing colleagues and team and, and mentors, and I hope that there's many good things to come in the future. And the other comment that you saw in the first slide that I was helping choose is, this was when I was a fellow, okay? I didn't choose myself. Excuse me. <laughs> this is a very appropriate comment because one of the main objectives for this award is to encourage our uh, fellows, to encourage our residents in different specialties, whether it's cardiothoracic surgery, whether it's cardiology, interventional cardiology, or cardiopulmonary circulation, congestive heart failure, and so on, heart transplant, to publish in our journal. And also for the faculty, all of you that are here, to encourage you to publish. And, uh, this award will continue, so there is a potential that you might be another recipient uh, in the years to come. Now, Dr. Strickman also will get the award, and thank you, Dr. Strickman, for contribution to uh, this particular topic and patient care and Kathy Doherty that has worked diligently and very hard in gathering the data and also with some statistical analysis. And the last one, but not least, is uh, ultrasound computation of left ventricular ejection fraction by using temporal intensity variation in the cardiac, uh, senior cardiac magnetic residence. And I'm not sure if anybody from the publication is here. I don't think that Ben Chung is here. Uh, how about the, uh, Dr. Pat and Dekar? No? He's with us on Zoom. What is it? He's on Zoom. Oh, okay. Well, then congratulations to all of you. And unfortunately, you cannot stand here for the photo, but uh, uh, that's probably the best that you could do. So thank you very much for uh, this uh, very good manuscript.